Uh, my name is Paweł Wieczorek. Uh, I work at Samsung R&D Institute Poland and I'm currently a member of Tizen Common release engineering team. Uh, Tizen Common is a GNU Linux distribution which aims at providing support for as many development boards uh, as we can get our hands on. Uh, today I would like to uh, guide you through your first steps in uh, preparing some kind of evaluation environment for uh, your own Lava Laboratory. I will start with a short introduction to what actually Lava is, uh, what are its uh, key features, what are its main use cases, and how you might benefit from it. Then I will go through uh, the actual setup steps for the uh, Lava Laboratory. I would also like to share with you a few uh, tools that you might find interesting and uh, that will make your uh, work uh, easier. After that, I would like to recommend a few uh, further steps once uh, the whole Lava Laboratory is already in place. And I will end with a short summary, a mm, few final thoughts and Q&A session. Uh, as I already mentioned, in Tizen Common, release engineering uh, requires a lot of validation, verification, uh, performing tests on the uh, ready-to-use uh, images of the uh, GNU Linux distribution. And uh, it's important to ask ourselves, ask ourselves what LAVA actually is. Uh, the acronym LAVA stands for Linear Automated Validation Architecture and it's a system for uh, automated deployments of operating systems, which in our case is crucial for day-to-day -day, uh, work. Uh, it allows uh, to uh, deploy, to load onto device all the uh, mm, necessary elements for the uh, device to boot up uh, kernel, DTB, uh, rootfs, and so on. Uh, it supports both uh, physical and virtual hardware, and today we'll focus on the latter. Uh, once the whole operating system is uh, loaded onto your device, uh, it allows you to run a various a wide range of uh, different tests from boot and bootloader uh, up to system level uh, tests, although some uh, extra hardware might be required for some of the uh, test cases. And uh, the most common starting point for uh, testing uh, on your development uh, on your uh, development board in for embedded uh, might be a single board uh, ARMv7 based like Beaglebone Black. Uh, flashing it and communicating with it, it's uh, definitely not hard. It can be quickly learned by any developer, uh, and it does not uh, require much time. Uh, from uh, developer, but uh, it uh, works well uh, only if uh, there are no more uh, than a single uh, execution of uh, your test. And uh, lack of parallelism uh, with uh, just a single device per developer uh, is uh, not the only problem with this workflow. Uh, suppo let's suppose that uh, uh, your uh, software has to uh, support uh, some other uh, target devices uh, for ARM v7, like uh, Arctic 10 uh, on the uh, top left, or like Odroid on the bottom right. And what about uh, if you had to support completely new architecture, like uh, x86 uh, with uh, Minoboard Turbots? Uh, sooner or later, uh, these are not the only uh, problems that might uh, come up with development. Uh, you'll be expected to get uh, test results as quickly as possible, and uh, even with all the knowledge uh, in place, uh, all the procedures known by uh, the whole development team, uh, it will be uh, harder and harder to manage the whole board farm. What can we do about it? Uh, preferably some abstraction layer for the uh, whole, uh, for all the boards that you have to manage might be introduced. And that's uh, actually 
what uh, Lava provides. That's actually why uh, Tyson Common became interested in Lava in the first place. Uh, Lava unifies management over uh, all the boards that are available uh, in your board farm. It doesn't matter uh, what are the procedure, procedures for uh, flashing devices, uh, mm, communicating with them or uh, executing tests and collecting uh, results from them. From the developer's point of view, uh, any device will be uh, seen uh, equally. Also, uh, you've got out-of-the-box resource allocation and you uh, don't have to worry about it anymore. Uh, as long as your uh, execution of your test cases can be divided onto multiple uh, target devices and uh, test cases are uh, not dependent on each other, uh, resource resources will be shared across your whole uh, board farm. Also, uh, in scheduling and dispatching uh, all the tasks are, uh, is done uh, all uh, for you with no uh, required interaction. And uh, how does uh, Lava do that? Uh, it provides a unified uh, environment for uh, any uh, device that you add to your laboratory. Uh, it uh, collects and tracks uh, all the uh, test results for uh, future um, investigation if uh, there is uh, need for it. And still, uh, it uh, supports uh, direct uh, access to your target device if uh, such need occurs either uh, via built-in uh, solution, which is uh, hacking sessions, or uh, with uh, some external um, software like uh, Board Overseer uh, by Free Electrons. Uh, more on uh, those, two, uh, um, those two features of the lava can be found uh, in the links on the slides, which uh, have been uh, already uploaded uh, both to uh, SCAT and to the events page. So um, who actually uses Lava currently? Of course, Linaro for both uh, Android and uh, Linux testing on the development boards. Uh, also, Kernel CI performs uh, its uh, boot tests uh, using the Lava board farm. And uh, as for the uh, whole distributions, uh, currently, both uh, Automotive Great Linux and Debian performs uh, tests of uh, its uh, operating system images uh, within their uh, Lava laboratories. Now that we know what can we expect from uh, Lava, let's move to the uh, actual uh, laboratory setup. Uh, for start, we will focus on a uh, standalone instance, uh, which means that uh, we will have all the components within a single machine. Although uh, Lava uh, supports uh, distribution of the whole environment and boards are not bound to a single uh, physical location, uh, it will be uh, the best for the uh, initial evaluation environment. We will also focus just on the virtual devices uh, and uh, no actual ones will be used uh, in this case. Also, uh, just uh, the simplest tests will be taken into account and these uh, actually might be uh, more of the health checks than uh, the actual test cases. And why is that? Uh, first of all, to reduce initial complexity and to just uh, uh, get a grip on the key concepts of the Lava Laboratory and to familiarize with the new workflow which may differ uh, from the uh, current, um, from your current development plan. Uh, also, uh, although your current uh, test cases might be um, reused uh, within your Lava Laboratory, uh, it might be uh, preferred to postpone uh, eventual migration to the uh, Lava format. So what does uh, Lava require from you? Uh, fortunately, uh, the only strict requirement for now 
uh, is having a machine with the supported uh, Debian release, which are currently um, stable testing and unstable. The experimental branch is used only for the freezes uh, in the uh, testing uh, branch. Uh, it uh, also might be worth to note that although Lava is already available within uh, Debian uh, main repository, uh, it's uh, preferred to use the backports uh, repositories since uh, there are the, uh, there's the most current uh, Lava distribution supported by Linaro. Uh, unfortunately, uh, Ubuntu support was uh, frozen, and uh, if you're interested in, uh, in the reasons for that, you might uh, find more details in the uh, link uh, on the slides. Apart from the strict requirement for uh, the platform your uh, first Lava laboratory will be based on, uh, there are a few uh, files that you uh, should uh, have prepared. First of all, system image, uh, which uh, can be either built uh, all by yourself or taken uh, directly from Linaro, uh, mainly from the images.validation.linaro.org uh, server, which will provide you with some sample uh, images for various devices. Then uh, you'll have to also prepare a health check job, which also can be taken uh, directly from Linaro, uh, from their Git repositories uh, with test cases on git.linaro.org under uh, QA domain. Also, you will need a device type template, but fortunately Lava comes with uh, various types of built-in uh, device type templates and the uh, only file that you'll have to uh, prepare all uh, by hand will be uh, instance definition of your first device, which in Lava terms is a device dictionary. And for QMU device, uh, such uh, dictionary might uh, consist just of these uh, three lines, which uh, tells which um, device template will be extended, and specify uh, the only uh, two features that are not uh, made by default uh, in the template. Thanks to the efforts from a packaging team on uh, Lava project, uh, the only uh, two steps that are required uh, on the host machine uh, are uh, setting up your database for the uh, storing uh, both uh, Lava settings and uh, the results, and uh, using the meta package, which will install all the components uh, for the standalone instance. As I mentioned uh, before, uh, the more you'll uh, learn about Lava, uh, the higher your requirements will be uh, as for the um, environment distribution and uh, having the exact packages installed that you require. But just to evaluate the technology itself, the meta package will suffice. Once uh, this is all in place, you will also ha will have to set up the web UI for the uh, easiest uh, way to manipulate with your Lava laboratory. And this will uh, just uh, will be uh, these uh, five steps in the terminal uh, which are enabling um, uh, two additional modules for the Apache uh, server and um, replacing the default configuration with the pre-installed uh, Lava configuration which uh, comes with the Lava Meta package. Once uh, you have your web UI, uh, your uh, super user uh, have to be, uh, has to be created. And with that in place, all you have to do uh, is to tell your uh, new Lava instance what devices you would like to test on. Uh, adding devices to uh, your Lava laboratory is as easy uh, as performing these three steps. First of all, you have to uh, 
note uh, which device type your laboratory will support, uh, then uh, you have to declare uh, the um, actual device instance you would like to use. And uh, finally, you have to specify uh, all the um, features that are not uh, already uh, available from the device template. Uh, using, for example, the file, the three-line file you saw earlier uh, in the uh, require, uh, required files uh, slide. Once uh, all of this is done, uh, your um, first uh, evaluation environment of your own Lava laboratory uh, is ready to use. And uh, although in the whole uh, automated uh, way you'll probably uh, will be more fond of the CLI client, just for the uh, quick and dirty tests, uh, the web UI might uh, uh, be your first place uh, to uh, check the Lava possibilities and uh, how uh, it can be used uh, in your workflow. Once uh, all of this is uh, set up, uh, we might uh, consider a few additional tools that will uh, make your work with uh, Lava Laboratory uh, easier in the future. And first of all, the configuration management software. Uh, it will be uh, the best to have your environment reproducible, not only in the uh, evaluation environment, but also uh, in the future staging and probably production, uh, so that you know that uh, all of the tests that were made will uh, be executed in the same way uh, in the um, corresponding uh, environments as well. Um, all of the currently available uh, tools for configuration management uh, are equally good uh, from Lava's uh, point of view. So um, choose your favorite. Uh, it might be uh, preferred to use the one that is already uh, in place in your infrastructure. Uh, as for uh, Tizen Common needs, um, we use uh, Ansible playbooks. Uh, unfortunately, due to some uh, formal issues. Uh, they were not published yet uh, before uh, the presentation, but uh, I think that uh, all the necessary steps should uh, finish by uh, my trip back. So feel free uh, to ping me directly uh, if you uh, would like some uh, further information uh, on the configuration management code from the uh, Tizen Common Laboratory. I believe that uh, your first level laboratory uh, would probably be set up in a virtual environment. And depending on the time you would like to um, put into the preparation of the laboratory, you've got uh, two main options. Of course, uh, your options are not limited uh, to those solutions. But these might be uh, the good initial uh, solutions for you to use. And uh, if you are limited on time, uh, the Vagrant might be your choice, since new machines uh, can be brought up uh, easily and instantly. And uh, using the Atlas service, a uh, wide range uh, of pre-built uh, boxes is available at your fingertips. But do be careful, uh, since you never know what uh, might be uh, in uh, unofficial uh, sources uh, from Vagrant Atlas. Now, if you have some more time to spare, yeah, it uh, Libfield might uh, be the better choice, since it is a more, much more flexible uh, tool and still comes with a few user-friendly, both CLI and GUI tools. Uh, once you mm, make your uh, future deployments easier, uh, let me recommend uh, a few uh, 
uh, few directions for the um, development of your laboratories. Uh, adding new device types and uh, actual devices, not just the uh, virtual ones that, uh, there ma that were mentioned in the presentation, uh, is described uh, in the um, documentation for the LAVA, lab LAVA laboratory. Uh, the documentation is available at each uh, instance, uh, at your own as well, uh, but the most recent uh, will probably be on the uh, main Linaros uh, LAVA laboratory. Uh, also, uh, the documentation as how to write uh, your own tests and how to migrate your current uh, test cases to the LAVA format is uh, described in detail uh, in the linked um, chapter. If you'd be interested to uh, use your LAVA laboratory in some uh, open source uh, project, uh, feel free to uh, add your uh, laboratory to the kernel CI. Uh, I'm sure the more uh, boards are put into tests on the uh, recent uh, kernel trees, the better. Uh, you also might benefit from familiarizing uh, both with uh, AGL test framework setup instructions which goes into details on uh, how the infrastructure uh, for the um, AGL uh, test laboratory uh, is. Uh, and also the testing initiative from Civil Infrastructure uh, Platform uh, publishes uh, some interesting documentation on uh, the LAVA laboratory and uh, how uh, uh, can it be used uh, in different workflows. Uh, if you prefer uh, watching or, or listening um, to some lecture, let me recommend uh, three interesting presentations. Uh, first of all, much more uh, detailed uh, introduction to the LAVA uh, V2 by Bill Fletcher from uh, last year's uh, Linaro Connect. Um, if you'd be more interested uh, in uh, having direct access uh, to your devices uh, via um, different solutions, you might uh, be interested in Free Electrons presentations uh, from uh, last year's Embedded Linux Con Europe. Uh, and uh, if you'd like to know uh, how currently LAVA laboratories can be used uh, for the um, full stack uh, distribution testing, you might be, interesting, uh, you might be interested uh, in tomorrow's uh, presentation uh, by uh, Jan Simon Miller uh, on the integration uh, of LAVA with Fuego. Uh, of course, uh, these are not the uh, only materials that you uh, uh, might uh, use. The whole documentation is, as I mentioned, available at each instance of LAVA laboratory. Uh, if you would have some more specific uh, questions, uh, both uh, LAVA user uh, mailing list and uh, Linear LAVA IRC channel on Freenode uh, will be most welcome for all of your questions. And to sum it up, uh, thanks to the uh, efforts of the packagers of the uh, LAVA project, uh, installation of uh, your first uh, LAVA laboratory for evaluation purposes is uh, as easy as uh, uh, executing few uh, commands uh, in terminal once you go uh, through the whole um, documentation on the uh, preparation of the environment. Uh, also, uh, the setup is almost instant uh, once you know what are the requirements and what you have to prepare uh, prior the uh, actual installation. Uh, also, the unification of uh, the uh, environment uh, done by LAVA uh, is probably the key feature that uh, might convince you 
uh, to try it out. And uh, with Lava, you've got uh, a parallel pa parallelization of uh, execution of, your, of all of your test cases at no cost. It's uh, out of the box. Also, uh, the division of responsibilities or maybe uh, taking the bur burden of managing the test farm by developers and moving it to the test farm opera operators might be something that your uh, developers uh, will be interested in. And uh, uh, although the whole documentation for the lava uh, might be a little over overwhelming at uh, first contact, uh, the exhaustive uh, documentation uh, has actually no downsides. Uh, all the common problems are already uh, fixed there and all the solutions uh, are uh, available. Uh, there is also absolutely uh, no need to uh, try to uh, create uh, some uh, new board farm management software uh, since the existing one, although uh, might not be as uh, popular as some other uh, CI infrastructure tools, uh, is already in place. Uh, and uh, also, uh, although the uh, automation uh, tools uh, might uh, seem uh, too high uh, cost uh, at the beginning, uh, it will pay off in the long term uh, and with uh, every next deployment uh, you make. Uh, that would be uh, all uh, of uh, what I've got prepared for you today. And uh, if you have any questions, I will be uh, happy to answer them. Uh, the uh, connections uh, that uh, uh, Lava supports uh, are, uh, the basic one is uh, serial, but the SSH is uh, also uh, possible. Uh, Lava can be also extended with uh, any connection you'll need. So if uh, mm, there is some uh, distribution specific protocol, like in Tyson uh, case, uh, it, uh, it's not hard to add uh, any new uh, using the templates that are already available in Lava. Uh, So as for uh, support of the um, OSs on the devices, uh, the uh, Lava out of the box supports uh, a few uh, main uh, Linux distributions, uh, Debian, Fedora, uh, Ubuntu, uh, open embedded builds, uh, and Android as well. Uh, as for the uh, rare distributions, uh, such as Tyson in, in my case, uh, the support uh, has to be done by the uh, interested party uh, on their own. But uh, the templates that are already available can be easily extended. Thanks. Thank you. So what, what about uh, integration with uh, uh, current infrastructure, right? Like GitLab, Garrett, or some other uh, review tools. Mm. Any uh, test can be mm, submitted to the uh, LAVA uh, laboratory. Now, LAVA laboratory mm, does not really, uh, mm, ha has no interest uh, in the um, source 
of the uh, test that has to be executed. Uh, all it does is uh, prepare device, uh, perform tests, collect results, and publish it further. So um, any um, combination of uh, the current infrastructure that you have uh, with Lava uh, has to be uh, done on your own. Uh, uh, if you have uh, current uh, infrastructure with, for example, Jenkins, and you have it uh, set up on the Garrett event stream or, uh, or GitLab uh, hooks, is that uh, correct? Yeah. Uh, it, uh, it will be as easy as replacing the uh, command that uh, has to be executed uh, on the event. Uh, yeah, uh, so about uh, Tizen Common and our case. Uh, that's exactly uh, as you said. Mm, the uh, OBS, Open Build Service, uh, is used for uh, rebuild of all the packages. Uh, as for the uh, images of the uh, OS itself, uh, we use uh, MIC, uh, which is an uh, uh, acronym for uh, MIC Image Creator. Uh, and this is actually the tool that, uh, that prepares the uh, OS images. Uh, OBS is used uh, only for the uh, rebuild of the packages. Uh, and the, um, the setup with, uh, with Lava is currently under development, uh, but we will be publishing uh, everything as, as soon as uh, it's on the production environment. So uh, as for scaling of the whole solution, uh, Lava will uh, schedule the uh, tasks only on the available uh, um, devices uh, on the uh, event of the new uh, task that has to be executed. So there is, uh, as far as I know, there is no mechanism uh, for spinning up uh, dynamically uh, new um, machines. Uh, since uh, it's, uh, uh, it's not the main use case with the actual devices. Uh, but uh, mm, I believe that uh, mm, it could be uh, included in your load balancer, uh, performing these uh, three steps for uh, adding uh, new devices. Uh, actually, just uh, two of them. Uh, new instance and the instance specification because the uh, device type would be already known. Oh, sorry. If uh, any uh, other question occurs uh, uh, or comes to you, uh, feel free to contact me uh, directly. Uh, thank you for coming uh, and uh, Thank you for your attention.